So you're thinking about moving to the Bay Area or the East Bay specifically, and you're in search of safety, comfort, and excellent school districts, well, then Alameda might be the perfect location for you. In this video, we're gonna explore everything that Alameda has to offer and give you the insights and clarity on what makes this island so special. So make sure you stay to the end and let's dive right in. If this is your first time here on my channel and you're looking to discover everything about living, working, and playing here in Alameda or the East Bay, well then make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. You'll be the first to know about the inside scoop of the market here. I'm Jay Coyne, I'm your favorite Alameda real estate agent, and I've been helping people every single day just like you, yes you, make their move to Alameda and the East Bay. I absolutely love it here and I grew up here. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from now, give us a call, text or email and we'll be happy to help you plan your move to and from the Bay Area. Now today's episode is all about Alameda so let's jump on my computer and get to it. Before we explore the neighborhoods, let's take a look at the island itself. Nestled in the San Francisco Bay, specifically the East Bay, Alameda is a city with a unique island charm, and it's connected to the mainland of Oakland through a series of tunnels here, the Posey Tunnel, as well as bridges. Now, Alameda is essentially a beach town in the chaotic and bustling Bay Area, and it's positioned perfectly for commuting, which is why so many people love to live here, especially if you want that suburban lifestyle and you have to work in one of the more major metros such as San Francisco or Oakland. Now for the commuters, there are multiple ferry buildings, two on the west end and one on Harbor Bay that you'll see these lines here take you over to the San Francisco port, um, as well as one over here in Jack London if you work in Oakland. Now if you do get seasick, don't you worry, there are trains called BART here, uh, Bay Area Transit, and one in West Oakland, Lake Merritt, as well as Fruitvale, and BART will take you across you know, every, almost all of the major cities here in the Bay Area. Plus, Alameda and Bay Farm have the Oakland Airport, which is super underrated for avid flyers here. It makes life so much more convenient. I live over here on Bay Farm Island. It's a five minute drive away and I never miss a flight. You don't realize how awesome it is to have an airport close by um, until you have it. Alameda is really like a lifestyle with the residents here enjoying the mild weather year round as well as all of the outdoor activities that it offers like sailing on the bay and the water sports and local eateries. Now Alameda is a sail town with two yacht clubs, the Grand Marina and the Aeolian Yacht Club here. So if you do have a boat, many people of the island store their boats here if you don't have a property with a dock, obviously for a fee. Um, but if you're not into sailing yourself, there are small charter boat rentals that you can get as well as easy dock access for all of your water sports such as kayaking and paddle boarding. Here in the Alameda Marina, there's lots of new construction going on as well as um, some businesses entering there. Now, if you like a more adventurous sport such as kite surfing and windsurfing, here on the Alameda Beach offers uh, rentals at California Board Sports as well as lessons. If you're not into all of that, come lay out on the Alameda Beach, relax and enjoy the San Francisco sunsets with some of the most amazing views. The food scene here is vibrant with a mix of traditional eateries and innovative restaurants catering to every palate. Alameda has multiple downtown areas the one most popular is Park Street here and Webster, which is a strip where you'll find a lot of the cities, restaurants, and shops. Alameda Landing up here, South Shore Center, and, and some other various landings or hubs here on the island will offer many of these restaurants where you'll find a mix of Italian, French, barbecue, sushi, Cambodian, Thai, anything you can really think of, Alameda offers. And let's not forget the breweries. Alameda has really become a hub for craft beer enthusiasts with multiple breweries all over the city. One over here on Park Street, which is Alameda Brewery, and multiple on the Alameda Point neighborhood, such as The Rake, Faction, and Almanac. So whether you're strolling down downtown Park Street or laying out on the beach or enjoying a beer, Alameda offers a laid back lifestyle 
with the perks of city living. Now that you've got a sense of the island, let's start diving into the neighborhoods. Alameda's really split up into four main sections that you'll hear people refer to often. The West End, Central Alameda, and the East End. And over here on a peninsula all of its own with its own zip code is Bay Farm Island. Now, obviously there are multiple um, specific neighborhoods in each of these areas, but this is just a generality that you'll hear people say, hey, I live on Bay Farm or I live on the West End of Alameda. And all of these sections have a personality and character of their own. So whether it's the more quieter suburban lifestyle of Bay Farm or a little bit more energetic city living of the West End, there's a perfect location for you and your family. Start our journey over on the west end of the island at the Alameda Point neighborhood, which is this area right here. Now this neighborhood is where innovation is meeting history. Now once the heart of the Alameda Naval Base, um, a lot of innovation and construction has been going on here. As we mentioned, a lot of the breweries have moved into this area, um, as well as a lot of new townhouses and condos have been built on this once government land. So this area has really turned into a vibrant mixed use community. And you'll see a lot of people out here on the weekends. And the transformation here has really been astonishing as a great um, place to live on the island, especially for younger folks. The West End has a mix of a few neighborhoods. This, the Alameda uh, Point. You've got the Alameda Landing here, which is tons of new construction and a brand new waterfront promenade with tons of townhouses, um, some overlooking the water. But this promenade here is public park with access to the water. So you'll see a lot of kayakers um, be on the docks coming in and out of the water there. And this overlooks Jack London Square and their uh, yacht club on that other side. So it really is a great family location and there's a park there for the kids as well. You have Bayport, which is a little bit of an older um, planned unit development on this side of the island. And there are tons of larger houses there and they were built around 2010s. Now, if you're searching for um, a water view property with a dock, take a look at this Bellina Bay neighborhood. There's tons of townhouses and homes here with docks leading out to the water and people with boats definitely prefer this area as a neighborhood. Woodstock is the only housing development that is a co-op here in Alameda and it was old soldier housing that has been converted for sale units um, on the island and it allows for a lot of affordable housing for the residents here. Now, the west end of Alameda, as you see, is a mix of the old and the new with a lot of businesses, a lot of new construction coming in. The main downtown on the west side of the island is Webster Street right here, where you'll find a lot of the shops and restaurants for the people on this side of the island, which makes life super convenient. But don't miss out on the Marina Park, Marina Village Shopping Center, as well as Alameda Landing, where you'll find um, some of the major chain stores, such as Target, Safeway, um, Jamba Juice, Chipotle, and In-N-Out Burger, as well as the Lucky's Shopping Center and Anytime Fitness Gym. Now let's take you over to Central Alameda where you'll find the Gold Coast neighborhood, sistering neighborhood, the Bronze Coast, as well as this more undefined area of what we call just Central Alameda. And here is Shoreline or South Shore neighborhood. Now visiting the Gold Coast, this is one of Alameda's most prestigious neighborhoods where you'll find some of the city's most majestic homes you will have a mix of victorians and arts and crafts style properties as well as some of the largest homes on the island and it's no secret that this is one of alameda's most expensive neighborhoods here on grand street you'll find the infamous string of pearls which is just a row of some beautiful victorian houses that really encompass the rich architecture here of alameda 
Within the Gold Coast, you have Franklin Park and Franklin Middle School, where a lot of the kids reside in terms of schooling. And Washington Park, where you'll find tennis courts, basketball courts, and one of Alameda's, one of two of Alameda's dog parks. Now, within the Bronze Coast, you do have St. Joseph Notre Dame High School, where many of the families in these neighborhoods elect to send their kids to. For public schools, there is Encinel Junior and Middle School, where is on the west end of the island. Um, and there are also a few charter schools, such as Asti, which is um, using a part of the College of Alameda campus, as well as Nia. You will see this body of water here which is like a lagoon system and there are many homes that border this lagoon offering awesome views as well as some dock properties where you can bring out a paddle boat and cruise along the water. Now within Central Alameda you will have some shops um, along Encinal Central and Lincoln Avenue scattered throughout um, but one of my favorite locations is one of Alameda's only tiki bars, Forbidden Island, which is located here on Lincoln Avenue. And I go there a lot. They've got some amazing drinks. Make sure you try the monkey pod if you're going to visit there. Central Alameda has also had some developments recently and some new constructions happening off of Grand and Clement uh, by the Alameda Marina. You've got um, some newer townhouses and condos, some actually facing the water here, which is great, as well as some four lease only apartments here, offering the city some of the only luxury um, lease apartments for the residents here. And these are great because there's tons of amenities, such as pools, gyms, and rooftop decks with you know the barbecue pits, etc. So it's a really great option if you're looking for more modern living on the city. So. Here is where you will find the Shoreline or South Shore neighborhood. And this offers that beachfront style living with that mid-century housing charm. It does border next to the South Shore Shopping Center, which is a great hub for one of my favorite restaurants, Traboco, an Italian restaurant on the island. But it also has a Safeway, Trader Joe's, the Jamba Juice, etc. If you're looking for waterfront living, they can offer some houses looking out onto the bay where you will see the San Francisco skyline. Um, but it also has a mix of townhouse and condos right on Shoreline Drive, which is overlooking the Alameda Beach here. Um, these townhouses and condos will have water views, which make it a great housing opportunity for people looking for, you know, not the most expensive house, um, but you get the beautiful amenity of the bay and SF skyline. Now I'll take you over to the east end of the island passing, remember as we talked about Park Street, which is Alameda's main downtown area. The east end consists of a few neighborhoods, the one general east end location, um, Fernside, which is a very popular neighborhood here, um, as well as the East Shore neighborhood. Now, Fernside is known for its beautiful architecture and tree-lined streets. Um, they offer two doors, some Victorians are scattered throughout, and some of those Mediterranean style housing with the tile roofs, as well as the older English um, and colonial style architectural homes. In the East End, of course, you will find some craftsmen's as well as the East Shore neighborhood offering um, the mid-century homes, which is personally one of my favorite styles and one of my favorite neighborhoods here on the island. The schools close by are Lincoln Middle School here, Otis Elementary, as well as Edison Elementary located right off of Pearl Street. One of the best parts about living here on the East End is its walkability to all these various locations, as well as Lincoln Park being a fantastic amenity um, for having the kids run around and play, but they also have the tennis courts, um, as well as the baseball field where Alameda High students go and practice and play their games. Now, something very special about the East End neighborhood is the houses along here, Fernside Boulevard and Marina Drive. 
This neighborhood and street offers some of the only homes throughout the entire Bay Area that have lots leading into the water with dock slips. Um, so if you're someone with a boat and you need a dock and you're looking for a single family house on the East End, definitely take a look at this neighborhood. Um, it's really, really special in that sense. And now something important to note is that some of Alameda is man-made. And not all of this was here when Alameda was originally founded. So around roughly this section over here um, is all landfill and was built sort of in the mid-century, okay? That is why these houses located along here are a lot newer than mo the majority of Alameda. So if you want a more mid-century style house, definitely take a look at East Shore. Um, there are sort of duet properties along Bayview Road here that have properties looking out onto the water as well, but they are not considered single family home. Now let me take you over to Bay Farm Island or Harbor Bay Isle. Now this is where I grew up and this is a neighborhood for those people searching for a little bit more quieter suburban life um, and a little bit more peaceful as compared to the main island of Alameda. It's connected to the main island via the Bay Farm Bridge here and this area does have its own zip code. Now what's unique about this uh, island is that most of it is man-made via landfill um, and this section is all and this section is a master planned community with a, a mix of single family homes, duets, um, as well as townhouses. And some of these houses were built in 1990s, 1980s. So it's a little bit, quote unquote, new compared to, you know, the historical homes of Alameda. What's really special about uh, Bay Farm Island is the lagoon system that runs throughout the entire island and it makes for beautiful walks um, for with the dog I jog this lagoon a lot and there are parks scattered throughout for families and the residents living here um, around the island is also a the Bay Trail which overlooks the city skyline and it offers some of the most beautiful sunsets um, in the evening so a lot of these houses are quote unquote cookie cutter. They do look very similar. Um, as I said, they are planned unit developments. Now you will have, now a lot of these houses will range around 1500 to 2000 square foot. Along Seaview Parkway, you will see some larger uh, row of development houses that overlook the bay and right are, are now right on the water, as well as some of the only uh, city's custom built homes right along Seaview Parkway that also overlook the city skyline. Bay Farm Island offers you know a range of houses and is a really tight-knit community. One of the most special things about it is the 24-hour security that drives around um, the island. Now majority of this island is an HOA so you do have to pay a fee monthly uh, but it provides the benefits of the lagoon, the security, etc. There is a Bay Farm landing here, which offers Safeway for all the residents here, as well as a gas station, Angel Fish restaurant, as well as a gym. And what most people love, if you're an avid golfer, is Karika Golf Course. This has been newly redeveloped to an Australian sandbelt style course. So for all of you golfers, you probably know what that means and it's a great amenity to have here on the island over here as i mentioned earlier is the ferry terminal um, many people commute from this location as there is a parking lot and it'll take you over to san francisco and right along the harbor bay parkway here is a lot of office buildings and headquarters for businesses so that is the business parks you see penumbra right there and pete's coffee has a office building there as well and this harbor bay parkway also leads to the oakland international airport offering uh, easy commute for avid flyers 
prices here on Bay Farm can range from, you know, the mid 700s if you're looking for a townhouse that's not fully remodeled up to, you know, $3 million if you're searching for a waterfront property or one of the larger 3,000 square foot homes here on the island. Now, as a rough estimate, you can expect to pay, you know, in the mid one millions for a single family house um, for the larger single family homes, roughly in the upper one millions to two million dollars. And not to mention, Bay Farm Island has some of the top elementary schools in all of Alameda, which has made Bay Farm very, very popular with families, with kids, with Bay Farm Elementary and Earhart Elementary School here and the commutability for all the kids on the island walking to and from school was very, very simple. And that's known from experience. Bay Farm Island also has the Harbor Bay Club Gym, which offers tons of amenities like the tennis courts, basketball courts, as well as a pool, sauna, and the full you know, gym experience. So if you're trying to get your fitness on, it's definitely one of the more luxury gyms here on the island. Now, there you have it, everyone. Just gave you a great overview of what it means to live in each neighborhood in Alameda. If you like what you saw, subscribe, tap the notification bell, and if you have any comments, then go ahead and ask them below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you or your family has been thinking about making a move to and from the Bay Area, then go ahead and give us a call. We help people every single day plan their move, and we'd love to help you too. I'm Jay Coyne, your favorite East Bay realtor, and I'll see you on the next video.